<laughs> well, what's up guys it's Elle and welcome to my channel today I'm gonna be doing a alternate Valentine's Day look if you're not so into wearing pink um, I think this is a really fun rose gold look and it's super easy and we're just gonna get into it so yeah if you want to know how to get this look just keep watching <laughs> So just as a disclaimer, if it looks like I have Donald Trump's toupee on top of my head, it's because I played myself and I tried to do my hair differently today and it didn't work out and so now it's in a bun and you know the ombre is looking like a hair piece, but that's okay. So to get started to prime my face, I'm going to use the Farsali Unicorn Essence. Um, I like this because it's really sticky and it'll help all the creams and stuff that we have going on on our face today just kind of stick in place and not be sliding around when you're trying to like look cute. <laughs> Okie dokie, so <laughs> wow, that is drying down. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil in taupe. It's technically meant for blonde people, but I find that since the top of my head is blonde and my brows are already really dark, it kind of helps even them out. If you leave, I'll fall. Okay, so to set my brows in place, I need to not have my hands up. In the front of my face <laughs> okay so to set my brows in place i'm gonna use the anastasia beverly hills brow gel in clear i feel like i could use this stuff and sit through one of these oklahoma tornadoes and my brows would not move so that's why i really like it so for base today i'm gonna go ahead and use the hourglass vanish stick in linen i like this just oh no i messed it up oh i put the cap on too soon a day ruiner y'all it's okay you know what we're here together i like this even though it's messed up because it i find it's really full coverage oh and nice and chunky now that i broke it without being <laughs> too heavy oh goodness oh goodness me oh that's so sad And I'm just gonna tap that in with a damp beauty blender. Okay, so now just to go over and fix any spots that I didn't actually, um, couldn't cover with my foundation, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape in light medium and just hit those spots like this one. One time for the one time. Can I help you, sir? What do you think you're doing? Hmm? Okie dokie. So, to highlight my face today, I'm going to use the NARS Creamy Radiant in the shade Vanilla. Because I'm white AF, unfortunately. I've been tanning, but it's not been working. It's okay, it's winter. We're all here. So, just threw that on my under eyes and the high points of my face. Tapping it in with a beauty blender. Saying a prayer. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and set all that in place with my Laura Mercier setting powder and my beauty blender. I don't like to super heavy bake because I find that my under eyes are just super dry. What is my dog eating? Like, honestly. Why are you doing that? Anyways, so my under eyes get super, super dry, and I feel like if I bake too heavy, it actually makes them crease more. So I just like to do a little bit of a, oh, look at the forehead lines, light bake and just set everything in place so it doesn't move around, but also not trying to dry anybody out because I got dry skin and it's winter. <laughs> okay, so for contour today, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in light to medium yes i know my things and i'm going to use these bottom two shades right here um i find that those are like the most cool tones and so on my face that is mainly yellow toned i can not look so much like an oompa loompa when i'm trying to put bronze in there i'm trying to look tan not orange so cool tones for the win i'm just gonna pop this right in my cheekbones Add a little bit of dimension back to my face. 
And then I'm just gonna do some of my hairline, just so, you know, it's not just awkwardly on my cheeks. Pretend like I'm just naturally glowy. I'm not. This is not nature. So just to intensify my contour today, I'm gonna use the Sephora Colorful Contour in Tranquil or N26. Um, I don't think they make this anymore, or if they do, like, it's pretty rare, because I can't find it whenever I go in there. Sephora, why are you playing me? And I'm just going to take that on a angled fluffy brush from Morphe. I use the brushes from the Copper Collection, and so uh, they don't have numbers on them, but just the shape of it is just like a fluffy angled brush. I'm just going to run that in my cheekbones to intensify my contour. Right in my temples a little bit. Pretend I don't have the face shape that I have. And then I'm gonna take just a flathead contour brush and the same product and I'm gonna contour my nose. Just with a fluffy brush and I really, this is so old, I don't know where it's from. Like truly I don't. The yellow shade from that contour kit, I'm just gonna clean up the sides of my nose contour and make it just a little less harsh. So it kinda went in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and intensify my contour even further with my Damp Beauty Blender and my Laura Mercier setting powder. I'm just gonna run it under everything, just give us a nice contrast with my hair in the way. I'm trying to give the illusion that we have cheekbones when we don't. So for blush, I'm going to use the NARS Orgasm Blush, which is like, tells all this time, the best blush ever and a MAC, I never know what this brush is because it's so old and I can't read the number on it. Everyone uses it though. A MAC 168, uh, I don't know, same angled fluffy brush type thing. And just gonna put that on the apples on my cheeks real quick. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe off any excess powder we have hanging out down here. Before I go ahead and move on to my eyes, I'm going to set everything in place with my Urban Decay. D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. I bought this when I thought I had oily skin. It turns out I have dry skin and um, I need to get a new one. I should probably get the all-nighter, but we're just gonna work with it for today. Okie dokie, so now that we have this base all set in place, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the eyes. I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium Honey as a base. Um, I think since this is matte, it works super well just in an attempt to make it so your eyeshadow doesn't move all day. Beauty wonder, Jesus. Also, it helps any like discoloration you have going on. So for eyeshadow today, I'm going to use the Too Faced Natural Love Palette. This is honestly my favorite palette because as you can see, it is well loved and it just has so many pretty colors. Um, today I'm gonna use mainly ooh, these ones. Start, I'm going to set my base with this color, Spotlight. I'm just gonna take a flat head brush. Anything really to just pack color down is gonna be totally fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off with a tapered blending brush and this shade Honey Butter. Yes, 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 Honey Butter. And I'm just gonna put that in my crease. Um, I know it's kind of hard because sometimes you see that people have a lot of different brushes when they're doing looks. For this one particularly, you just need pretty much only one brush if you have just like a tissue on hand just to clean it off between every color, like that's totally fine. I know it's like kind of difficult to own a lot of brushes if you're not really into makeup, so. Okay, so just on another blending brush, I'm gonna go and move into this color, Hot and Bothered. Um, I'm just gonna put that a little bit lower than the first color I put on and focusing it more towards the outer V, but still in my crease. We're just trying to build colors right now to make like a sunset and you can always just go back over and blend with the lighter colored brush or if you're only using one brush just clean it off real quick 
easy peasy. So then with that same brush that I used um, with Hot and Bothered, I'm gonna go and use Makeup and Chill, which is this one. It's a really pretty warm tone brown. I'm gonna focus that just on my outer corner. Okay, so then with just a flathead brush, I'm going to go ahead and use um, Haven, which is this top corner, and just put that right under my brow bone, and that's gonna help create some more space so my eyebrows don't look too low and blend everything together nicely. Okay, so from here, you could totally just go ahead and put whatever shimmer shade you want on your lid, and I think that would be really beautiful, just do a little inner corner highlight. But for me today, I'm going to be doing a half cut crease. And so I know that, that I used to be like super intimidated by half cut creases, but they're actually super easy. So we're just gonna go ahead and take a flathead concealer brush like this. Also, brush is old, I have no idea what it is. My trusty Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey, it's the same one we used as a base. So the genuine trick to doing a cut crease is not to play yourself and like try to be like, oh yeah, one swipe, done. Like, no, that doesn't work. I tried it, I failed, it's fine. I did the, I did the leg work, y'all don't need to do that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start by leaning my head back and closing my eye. And where you see your crease, you're just gonna make swipes downwards and then you're gonna kind of connect the dots and make a bigger swipe afterwards. Okay, so I made it halfway across the lid. Connect the dots, bigger swipe. Okay, and then I like to tap that in with my finger just so it's blended. Using that same flathead brush we used to set the brow bone in the same color, I'm just gonna go ahead and set this real quick. Okay, so for my shimmer today, I'm going to use the Tarte Clay Pot in Rose Gold. I think it accompanies these colors nicely. I think it goes with Valentine's Day nicely. And yeah, so I'm just gonna take just like a quick little flathead brush. Anything that can really like hold pigment. You don't want anything like fluffy, otherwise you're gonna diffuse the glitter on your face and we're trying to go for like hardcore right now. And then just pack that right where we put the concealer. The one thing that I think is nice about doing the concealer cut crease before you do this is that I think it really lets the pigment of this particular shadow show through really nicely. Is we're gonna go back in with that fluffy brush and the medium orange color that we used and just diffuse the edges between the light and the dark. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and then we'll come back. Okie dokie, so now that the other eye is all done, we're gonna move on to the lower lash line. So we're just gonna basically recreate what we did on the top, on the bottom, and I'm going to take that honey butter shade again, which was the lightest orange color we used, and just run it right here. And then we're gonna go in with the hot and bothered shade, which was the next darkest orange. And then I'm going to use just a little angled brush and the darkest brown shade that we did and just do that right next to my lashes. And then with the same brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and intensify this outer V with that same brown shade. So for my inner corner highlight today, I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade Satin Sheets um, it looks pink in the pan, but it comes out kind of gold, so I think it's it's like a pink with like gold reflex. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that in the corner. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that under my brow bone as well. Okay, so that's it for shadow. I think that this is really pretty. I think that you could totally just throw on some mascara or some lashes and just wear it like this. Um, I personally really enjoy winged liner, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw some winged liner on this. I'm gonna use the Tarte Sex Kitten Eyeliner and I'm just gonna do 
a quick, I'm gonna say little, but it's probably not gonna be so little, wing. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara on my top and bottom lashes. Um, you could totally go ahead and throw some false lashes on here. I have lash extensions, so when I put mascara on them, they tend to look pretty fake. Uh, well, they are fake. Yeah, they're fake. But I really need to get them filled, honestly. For highlighter today, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Becca Champagne Pop and just on a little highlighter brush. Super easy, you're just gonna do the high points of my cheekbones. Gonna do the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow. Okay, for the last step today, I'm gonna do lips. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in the shade Cool Girl, just cause it's neutral, easy. I think you could also easily wear this I look with just like a gloss and it would be really pretty too. <laughs> okay guys, so that's it for today's look. Um, I think it's a really pretty like Valentine's Day look. It's not so pink if you're not really into wearing pinks. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Bye. Bye. Bye everybody. <laughs>